She is the key witness against Robert Magoon in his sexual assault trial, a woman with special needs who claims Magoon had sexual contact with her three times at the Pines Community Center in Northfield. We we'll ask you to say that you want to show me something kind of like a trick. Uh-huh. And then he asked me to follow him. Okay. And then once I got in the room, he was kind of like trapping me. Okay. But I couldn't really go anywhere to go get anything mm -hmm. to go get help. Prosecutors say between 2013 and 2014, Magoon assaulted the woman while he was working as a custodian at the community center. The woman is 29, but is more like a child in many ways, enjoying animated movies with a big collection of stuffed animals. She is also confined to a wheelchair. Prosecutors say all of those things made her an easy target. I actually tried to escape. Okay. And then he was kind of like holding the door so that I could go anywhere. Did he tell you anything? He actually told me to keep it a secret. But under cross-examination, the woman had trouble with timelines. Attorneys pointed out she gave different accounts of how many alleged assaults there were, and one social worker said at times she will lie about small things. But she did testify about how important it was to tell the truth in court, saying if you don't, you get what she described as a scary feeling. The state rested its case today, but the defense did not. They did ask the judge to throw out several charges against Magoon for several reasons. The judge took that matter under advisement and said that she will issue her ruling tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Concord, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.